here building this vehicle for a VIP out of Texas. He wanted it to be better than my original vehicle OG40, so we went ahead and we did coilover bypasses on it. Uh, a lot of color match stuff, so it has a long arm kit in the front, has the big axles like OG40, coilover shock with a bypass and an air bump on the front. This one over our OG40 build that we did. So that vehicle we set up for kind of a budget build, believe it or not. It was about $30,000 in aftermarket to make it or better than a Rubicon. So we had coil springs and shocks and drop brackets, but we wanted to get to that price point of what a Rubicon would cost if you built it in your driveway with better parts. This one started off as a Rubicon. He wanted a high-end stuff. We went with coilovers. Coilovers give you adjustability of ride height and a dual rate springs. There's a lot of advantages for coilovers versus uh, a single spring and shock. We build custom vehicles for the customer. And so he really liked his orange. He picked his color. He wanted everything orange color match. He was working with my son, M4. He, he asked for certain components that are on the vehicle. He knew what he wanted to use it for. This is a vehicle a lot for show. He wants to be able to go off-roading, hit Moab, hit, hit some trails if he wants to, but it's still capable. Color match stuff is, is for looks, but it's still made with our heavy-duty Evo parts, all of our good Curry Johnny joints. Looks bitchin'. We even added custom leather seats inside with the Evo brand. And uh, the main thing was keep the customer happy. Uh, this is a build for him. We build vehicles for the customer. I want to do stuff that I don't really care for out of the shop, so it has to meet a certain criteria, so uh, we won't just decorate the cake too much. Normally a build like this would be, for, for, for something like this, would be between two to three weeks to have it. We did take a little bit longer because we didn't have a deadline. So customers have been really accommodating and uh, great to work with them. My favorite part of the build is it's a functional vehicle. So this is something that I could go take on, on any trails out here if I wanted to go pre-run the Hammers uh, or, or Baja. Uh, we definitely could in the one vehicle. The uh, same sort of vehicle that we just took all the way up to the Arctic Ocean. Uh, so I know how capable it is. So my favorite thing is using quality parts that we've tested and proven that we could take the vehicle anywhere. From the Dana 60 axles uh, to the uh, KMC wheels, Nitto tires, King coilovers, our Evo manufacturing lift kit, all that stuff is proven. We've taken them everywhere. This vehicle, I'd be comfortable jumping in right now and driving to wherever. Uh, and be able to get there and get back. So that's what excites me on these builds, is making a functional vehicle that also looks shiny and flashy. The orange actually, in my opinion, is just absolutely a gorgeous color. It's actually a color I was gonna do for myself too, so it's kind of cool to have that through. It's a very custom Jeep, but the cool part about it is the custom parts that we're selling and, and the other manufacturers are selling now, they go together so well. So it's pretty amazing that we can put coilover, bypass shock, and air bump on the front of these things with an aftermarket axle, and everything clicks together, works, adaptive cruise control still works. All this stuff is just absolutely amazing from 15 years ago when we started building stuff where it was all custom, we kind of had a buggy afterwards. This thing, you can set the cruise control, still uh, go down the road with no check engine lights on, and go hit those hardcore rock, rock trails or desert stuff. From down to the durability of the tires, not worry about punctures on the sidewall, uh, to good beadlocks that aren't blown apart, to, like I said, race quality shocks on your daily driver vehicle. So just being a part of the industry right now, it's absolutely amazing to be able to see this stuff just elevate to the next level. Always proud of my guys and uh, the way we put these cars together. Thanks for following, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Driveline.